The speakers are dynamite. We just midway through, but I know that God has more work for us, and I'm just excited. I have been filled halfway, and I'm ready for the rest of my feeling. I was truly and honestly blessed at this conference. I'm so glad I came. My neighbor invited me. She brought me free. I didn't pay a dime, and I thank God. He just poured out and confirmed so many things in my life. I thank God for the prophetess that he sent here, spoke a con word of confirmation, and what a blessing. I've just been blessed, 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 and I thank God for it. It has just, it's been awesome. I mean, I just thank God for this conference. This this year has definitely been a good She was going through mommy on something that had never happened before, and nobody could explain to her or mentor her or speak unto her because it had never happened to them. And so you're gonna meet some ladies sometimes that you ain't gonna be able to really explain it all biblically. Yes, but just your salutation. My God. Yes, sir. Glory. Just your love that you put on them. Yes, it's gonna strengthen them. Yes. Yes. Everybody always talk about how Elizabeth had it going on, she has it going on. And so it says that she, Mary went immediately not knowing how she's going to explain this, knowing already that she's going to be ostracized, she's going to be ostracized. Say your name, you're going to be ostracized. Because see, what you carry, people ain't going to like you. They're not going to like you. But it says instead of her talking about it, worried or being worried about what was happening in her life that was so unexplainable, it says she went immediately to go see about another woman. I wish y'all get in the spirit and see it and read it for yourself. She really had no purpose. Or did she have purpose? To go all this long way. Can I explain to you that where she went was not around the car? Can you imagine the journey of being so alone? Carrying something you can't explain? But you can't worry about that, but you gotta go see somebody else. Woo! The video said as soon as she met her, she didn't tell her, this is what's going on with me. The Bible said she never said it. It just said all they did was greeted one another. <laughs> Cause see what's in you is almost, it's, it's, it's in me too. But all I need you to do is just greet me with some love, and then I'll know I'll be able to carry this thing. I know without a child of doubt, when I get with another sister, and she don't look at my appearance, and she don't ask me no questions, because see, they never exchange words other than the, the greeting. That's what the Bible says. She didn't say, girl, I need you to pray for this, this, this. But there's something about her supernaturalness met up with the other woman's supernaturalness and when they greeted, it said the thing that was in her began to leave. And the thing that was so powerful, the exchange between these two women, that it made Elizabeth do something that nobody ever really talks about, which is prophesy. <laughs> you said, well, I'm not a prophet. You ain't got to be a prophet to prophesy. But she began to give her a word that you highly favor. When the last time you told somebody you battled in me? You cuter than me, girl, today. Or you wearing that cut, girl. It's better than my cut. But no, we like to be in competition. But what I want you to do is go around the room to three people, hear the instructions, and begin to speak to them like something encouraging. And watch God tear this whole house. To where the glory will fall.
first one I thought was dynamite, but this one took me a properties. I was trying to hold my days up. But it wouldn't let the spirit wouldn't let me, but I just love it. I love it and I love it from the last night until today. Today I love you. Be blessed. And this is one of the best conferences that I've been to in a long time. I'm telling you, I came to just sit in the corner and just look say, go ahead. But I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit got a hold of me. And all I know, I was jumping up and down, giving them praise. The conference was God sent, the Lord sent his messengers, his prophets, and the word came forth. It was beautiful. Everybody should have been here to receive what the Lord had for them. I got a word, I got a blessing, and I'm taking it home now. God bless you. Amen. I really enjoyed the conference today. I came here to run a fellowship. The next thing I knew, I was jumping on my toes and stinging the tongue. Well, I thank you, Jesus. I thought I was going to sleep when I came in, leave at 1 o'clock, run home, and work in my yard. But what happened? The Holy Ghost got me. What could I do? It really touched me last night and today. Oh. And I hope next year will be better than what it is this year. This is our first conference at Mount Vernon Baptist Church. And I hope we'll continue on with another conference bigger and better.